By M.A. Evgeny Khan here in this Friday, the 5th, July 5th. And today, we're going to be seeing what Khan delivers and get to today, the day after 4th of July. Now, yesterday, they had a lot of good paying deliveries, but the miles were way too high. So I could have made 100 yesterday, but I wasn't going to drive all those miles before we had to go to our cookout yesterday. So I got this delivery right here. You already saw the shopping action on that delivery and it was paying $14 and it's going maybe two miles. I didn't get the screenshot, but I have the final payout right here. I got all the items right beside me. As you can see, there's only two bags. And the reason there's two bags is because I like to keep the meat separated from everything else. So that's what I did with that. So I'm going to go deliver this. You'll get to see some of the delivery action and I'll see. We can see what else we get to the day. I might be live streaming today. So we'll see. But I'll catch up with y'all after I do this delivery. Man, so we're back at Wegmans. Now, they say on the Instacart app that you can't wait at Wegmans. You have to wait in a parking lot near Wegmans to get deliveries. But that's not going to stop me from waiting here unless an employee comes out telling me, hey, you can't wait out here. But anyway, so we got another delivery. It's $14.88, 20 items, 34 units. I'll put the total right here. It should be a quick in, quick out. I mean, it's not the ideal delivery, but it's keeping the money flowing. And the delivery is only about seven miles away. So basically, I'm getting a little over $2 a mile. That's not bad at the end of the day, depending on how long it takes to um, shop this delivery. So I'll go get this shopped, get it delivered, and what's the to get into the day? But actually, a pretty decent delivery for this one.
today is actually been a pretty good day. It's um 3 15. I've been working for two hours and 15 minutes because I started at one and actually doing pretty good today. So I ended up getting a shop and deliver order on Uber Eats, two items, four units. And when I got here and checked on Instacart, I got a $9.22 Instacart, one item that is one some dog food, and that's it. Now the um, Uber Eats is 14, 15 bucks. So that's 24, 25 bucks just for that. It's actually a pretty good day. So we're over 50 already for the day. And I have a $10, almost $10 um, roadie pickup. It's two drops and it's going back towards the, the crib. So that'll put me, if I do get that one on top of this, that will put me at 60, over 60 for the day. And that's pretty good. And only three, three hours of working. Shoot. I'll take that any day. But I'm not going to do any car action for this one because it's a pretty simple order. So I'll just do some screen recording action. And we'll go pick up this delivery, these two deliveries on two different apps. So stacks on deck. Action for you. So I made the second decision after picking these up that I canceled the um, roadie delivery, the medicine delivery. The pickup would have been easy, but it might have been a hassle at the um, drop-offs because you need ID. But, and the reason why I canceled that is because I got two um, shipped deliveries. One only had one item, it was paying eight dollars and some change. The second one, which had more items, was paying nine dollars and some change, which is great because that's paying way more than the um roadie delivery. One of those deliveries is paying the same as the roadie delivery, maybe a little bit more. So, I'm going to drop these two deliveries off and go pick that up, and we should be in good shape today. I'm going to probably be working till five or six today. But I've only been out going on three hours because it's almost, you know, by the time I pick up that three hours. And I got another $18 in the bank after I pick up those two deliveries. So let me go drop these off and we'll see what else we can get into after that. And I'll have some shopping action. Trying to do some D-Lo Brown action on, on this video, but I'll catch up with y'all later. Man, so I had to drop one of the targets, which actually worked out because when I was pulling in to Target, I got a Panera Bread. That was a twenty dollar Panera Bread. I'll put the final payout right here if I didn't get a screenshot because I don't remember if I got a screenshot or not. But the Panera Bread is not ready to almost five, so the um, shipped that I kept the seven seventy eight shipped delivery I kept. I'm going to go shop that. They only want uh, one item, three units. It should be a quick in, quick out. And then by the time I shop that, then the um, Panera Bread should be ready. And then I'll go drop off the shipped or the Panera Bread, which I want closer. And then see if we get something else. And I'll put us close to 80. Now, I could have kept the other one because I would have had enough time to shop it because the Panera Bread is not going to be ready for another 20 to 30 minutes, which is cool. But I'd rather just do this one. It's quick in, quick out. Because twenty dollars Panera bread total the stacks on deck. It's gonna be twenty seven dollars and some change, maybe twenty eight. That's not bad. So I'm gonna go pick up this um, Target. 
y'all see some screenshot action and then I'll come back and get this Panera bread and then we'll um, see what else we can get to the day. But so far doing good. Started at one, it's almost five o'clock and we're already at 80, which means that that's $20 an hour. That's good. I'll take that today. But I wanted to try to get at least 100 today, so we'll try to get some more deliveries afterward. Man, so while I was in all of these, I got another delivery. It was probably my last delivery of the day. I think it's $12, but I put the final payout right here from CVS. No only one four items. And then I had to go to another grocery store because they didn't have all the stuff that I wanted at all these. I needed an onion. And they, haven't, they only had the bag of onions. I just needed one onion for burgers. And I needed some mayonnaise. And they had a small thing of mayonnaise for Spanish corn or Mexican corn. And then what else did I need? Oh, I wanted to get a knife so I can use those brand new cutting boards I made up. Try those out tonight. What else did I need? I think that was it. So I just need to get an onion, mayonnaise, and a knife. But the grocery store's on the way back to the house, so that's good. I got everything else I need to cook tonight for burgers, hot dogs, uh, my famous potatoes, and the corn. So I just need to get the mayonnaise. So I'll go do that CVS, go to the grocery store, and then we'll have my final thoughts for today. Wrap this video up, and then I can start editing that tonight. And then the video I did yet on Wednesday, we'll have that edited it as well for another day because I didn't do the outro on that one. So let me get up out of here and I'll catch up with y'all when I'm finished doing these deliveries. And I may have some screen action for this last delivery I'm going to be taking today. It will put me at 42 for the day. So if if it was 12 bucks, because we're already at 12, so I'm, I'm assuming it's 12. But it's a
New message from Martinez. Looks good. Thanks. Man, so that was actually pretty good. So let's start off with the Panera bread. So the Panera bread was um, crazy because when I went to Panera bread, it wasn't ready. And come to find out, three other drivers canceled the order, probably because it wasn't ready. But then the customer back and forth texting me was like, um, did someone steal the food? I mean, why is it not ready? You know, questioning the order. And she wasn't mad at me about it. She was just questioning because she placed the order an hour ago and still hasn't received the order. While, and I told her that they were um, preparing her order and it was not ready. So it gave me the opportunity to go pick up the um, baby formula, the um, three boxes of baby formula. And then by the time I got back to the Panera Bread, it was ready. So I dropped that off and it went up $2, $2. So instead of 20 and some change, it was 22 and some change. And then the CVS order was actually pretty good. It's just that they didn't have everything that the customer wanted. They had the fan. Now they didn't have the detergent that they wanted. She didn't want the substitute, but they did have another substitute that she wanted. They didn't have the laundry, um, what do you call it? Sheets that you put in your dryer, your dryer sheets. They didn't have the kind that she wanted. So as we return that and they didn't have the soap, the body soap that they wanted. They didn't have the replacement, but had the same kind. And one of those um, squ uh, squeeze bottles, you know, the ones, the pump bottles, the pump bottles, I mean. So they had that, but she didn't um, accept the replacement, even though she confirmed it on the text. So all I did was this cancel, like a refund for the soap. And then when I rang it up, it allowed me to um, check out with the soap. It wasn't an error on the card. It allowed me to um, check out with that soap, probably because the sheets and the original soap that she wanted was more than the soap that I did ended up um, checking out. So that's that. We had a pretty good day today. We started at one. It's now seven. But some of that time I was uh, shopping for groceries for dinner tonight. So take an hour off for of that. So really, it was about four and a half hours. That's actually not bad. And I made over $90 today. So I actually did pretty good today. So I'm going to go run into the store real quick and get the last few things I need. Cause I didn't have everything at all these. You know, I just need a knife, an onion, and some mayonnaise to make um, Mexican corn. And then I can, you know, get my wife the car so she can run her couple of errands before dinner and enjoy the rest of my night. And I'll catch up with you on the next video or live stream because I'm gone. Like Mr. Vontae Davis. And I'm gone like chicken grease. Rest in peace, buddy. And I'll see y'all soon. Hold right. on. You're holding on to his pants. Here we go. 
Randy, damn. You run! 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 Yeah. No. Oh, he dropped it. God damn it. Fuck. God damn oh, it. Man. There you go. You okay, Washington? Yourself. Where's the pass in the... Oh, my God. He was holding on to his pants. <laughs> you didn't see that. You're blind. Hold on to what, man? I know. Not y'all know the play before. Oh. Oh, Rashid. Wah, 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 wah. It's okay, Rashid. Come on. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, Giants with the early lead. But, you know, you get paid. No, it's no good. No. It's no good, Rashid. No. 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 No good, Rashid. That's no good. Oh, That's no good. It's an early lead. Uh -oh. It's okay, Rashid. No good. Yeah. Wait a minute. This is the first quarter. The first That's going to come game. back to haunt you. Yes, it will. 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 Yes, it